Good morning, it's the weekend, it's Saturday, it's quite mild out, there's a bit of cloud up there in the sky and Lloyd's just turned up, he's indoors. Lloydy, 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 why don't you tell us all where we're going? Where is Lloyd? He's gone. Oh, he's in the kitchen. Where are we going today? We're going to Billy Banks. Billy Banks. <laughs> as far as I know, it's a derelict council estate, a bit like a ghost town. Loads and loads of empty rooms or rooms full of brick and brack and stuff like that, so it's going to be really interesting. I'm taking my large format camera with me, thank you Gemma. And my 5D Mark II, of course, although I expect I won't be using that much. I'm getting really sick and tired of all the digital equipment at home. I don't want it anymore. I just want to shoot film, but it takes too long. Who's that pretty girl with the slightly chestnut urban red hair? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's going to be the four of us going there today. And later on in the evening, Dave and Katie are coming around at about six. Let's go then. Beverly, are you taking the pinhole camera? No? Oh, okay. So this Billy Banks estate is in a place called Penarth, which is the other side of Cardiff from where we live. Lloyd's been talking to us in the car. He says we're going to be flabbergasted about this place. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to taking you too. Damn it, there's loads of traffic on the way in because Cardiff City Football Club are playing a match today. Billy Banks. Lloyd says we've got to park around here somewhere and go for a trek because we don't want to park there because there's gypsies and stuff. There it is. Look at all them caravans and white vans and stuff. It looks scary. There's stuff on fire over there. Danger, unsafe building, keep out. Are you sure about this, Lloyd? I'm not sure if I want to take all my camera stuff into that place, Lloyd. What do you think? I'm just going to take my little one with me first and treat it as a scouting exhibition. So here it is. This is Billy Banks' estate, the start of it anyway. Down there, they've got lovely views of the bay. You can even see Millennium Stadium. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's pikey dogs coming towards us. No. Oh, Jesus, what is this? It's only got three legs, the poor thing. Amazing to think that these are people's homes here. Oh, Lloyd does take us to some places. <laughs> wow, what on earth is that? Look at it, and the smashed windows up there. Wow, that's pretty amazing. That's some of the photos I'd never seen. So I've obviously, I've obviously not been into them. The lady who talked to us, she's converted her, her was it, lorry into a home. Oh, right, okay. And it looks lovely in there. We are properly in the dirty suburbs, aren't we? Wow. Lloydy, 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 you're going to have to tell me how you first had the stones to come in here on your own. I didn't come on my own. Who'd you come with? I come with Daisy and Laura. No, yeah, but on your own, <laughs> but the first time you came. What do you mean? I was on my own. No. <laughs> Some crazy old graffiti up on the wall here. Lloyd, are we trespassing? Yes. Cool, nice old bike there. Do you fancy that, Beverly? Yeah. Lloyd just said to me, start filming. I don't know why I've got to start filming. This is how we get in, is it? Lloyd, do you think I could squeeze through that gap? I'm not as thin as you. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Lloyd. There's a doorbell. Let's see if anyone's in. H hello? Is anyone in? No, I don't think so. <laughs> in we go. A bit of a tight squeeze in there. Oh, it's dark. Oh, there's graffiti on the walls indoors. These were people's homes, Lloyd. Wow, look at the damps all pulled the ceiling down. Oh, wow, Lloyd, this is colourful. Yeah, so we're back outside again. We see this place has burnt down. It's got fire remnants and stuff there. There's loads of really bad graffiti outside. I'm quite enjoying this. I should have bought my large portback camera. I might come back down here. It's just unbelievable, really, that places like this exist in the United Kingdom, isn't it? No offence, but you expect places like this to exist in America in the bad, bad, dodgy suburbs, but not UK, because it's such a small place. And it really is ginormous, isn't it, Lloyd? Gosh, it's very spooky. I don't really feel comfortable walking around on a second floor that looks like this. Oh, Lloyd, you could almost be a statue standing there in all the rubble. Look what's happened to all the walls. I guess this is where the fire happened. Yeah, it is. Look at the window. Oh. This is an incredible room. The roof has caved in here, so we've got a lot of light in. Have a look at that. You're gonna love it. You're gonna wanna come down here. What is it that makes such a vile, disgusting place so beautiful to look at, so interesting? This is a balcony that people would have used to look over. There's a close up from what we just saw from up there. That's where we're on the second floor balcony. Thoughts, girls? I love it. It's crazy day. <laughs> How long has it been like this, Lloyd? Look, the vines have grown over really, over really quickly. Years. Over 10 years. Apparently Billy Banks estate was shut down over 10 years ago, 1999. Nice, back inside and there's a car seat on the floor. This was evidently someone's bedroom once. 
it's probably all starting to look very much the same for you, but you've got to come down here and experience it yourself if you live close. You can go to flat to flat by the bar. Flat to flat? Wow. If you do decide to come along though, do so at your own risk because it's bloody unsafe. Lovely. Prison bars and battle scars. The view out these windows, not what it used to be, is it? Bev's found a window she's taken a photo of. What sort of exposure you got on that, babe? Bloody absurd, all of this. Isn't that cute? The plants are just starting to grow. There's a teapot there, how strange. Is it shameful that I've not taken a single photo yet? The other three are, but I feel like I could be kind of wasting my time. I don't really want to take photos on this. I want to wait for my large format camera and decide what I want to take photos of. Lloyd, I don't know whether I've lost the photography bug or some sort of trigger-happy photophobia. You forgot your camera. What are you on about? I forgot it. It's in the boot. A resident of this place just had words of us. Oi, get out of there. So it's put a little bit of a dampener on our spirit, actually. We're a bit more scared to go in these places. It was remarkable taking us down here, Lloyd. Shall we head home now? One more. Wow, there is some retro stuff in here. Spooky as well. Look at the age of that Coke can. There's the rest of that bike we saw earlier and some old box TVs. Further upstairs there are clothes and dresses everywhere. This looks like an old child's room with like horses and stuff, loads of pony magazines. Oh wow, look what I've just found here. David Michael Palmer, 1972 to 1976. It's like a marriage book or something. Damn, Dave and Keith, there are some photos in here. Lloyd's just screamed from downstairs, Sam, we're going home, so we better go. I'm going to take that book I found with us, oh, it's a bit too dark to see here. It's a proper sad state of affairs, it makes you wonder why it's all like this, and why it's been so vandalised, there must be a reason, there's so much hate, I can feel the hate and sadness in those rooms. Beverly and Lloyd are still upstairs in that window there, what are you doing, stop throwing stuff out, what the hell is that? Thanks for taking us there Lloyd, you enjoy that Beverly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what did you get then, lots of photo albums, well. Wow. Heading back out now. So strange around here. Place is amazing around here. It's full of new age travellers and stuff. We just saw a bunch playing the guitar with their little daughter and stuff, bouncing it about. It's mad. The weather's cleared up quite a bit. You can see the bay down there in Cardiff. Oh, I fancy some food in Cardiff. Oh, yes. Hey, result. The car's still there with all four of it wheels still on. Oh, well, that was a ride and a half, wasn't it? It's like I'm almost back to my daily vlogs. Sod it, I'm knackered. Let's head back home and wait for Dave and Katie. Ever such a slight detour, we thought we'd come to Wagamama's for some food on the way home. Right. Ooh, what are they? Can I have one? <laughs> I think you already have. Yep. Let's just have a quick survey of how many drinks that we've had today. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at that. And Bev's got one in her hand. Second attempt at trying to get home, gonna put some music on in the car. It's half past five now. Davido and Ketisaurus are getting here for about six o'clock apparently. There's the transport bridge very nearly home and Dave and Katie haven't texted yet to say they're here so I don't think we're in trouble yet. Well, we are back home and there is no Dave and there is no Katie. We're just going to wait for that doorbell to ring. Been a lovely day out Lloyd. Thank you for taking us. He's quite tired. He hasn't slept all night, have you? Love you. Love you too. Oh, I didn't have the camera on your face. Oh, I just heard a car pull up. Is anyone here? Yes! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> What's going on? You've just got here and you're going back out. Why are you going back out? They're going for pizza and Lloyd's leaving too. Thanks for taking us out today, Lloyd. Thank you. And just like that, everyone's back home and they bought us cake. Look at the state of this cake that they bought us. Correction, they didn't buy it. They made it. Dave made cake. Oh, and you. I made it. You made it. I made one of those like a cupcake. <laughs> but have a look. Get out of the way, Tom. What <gasps> Dave made. <laughs> How did the slices of heaven taste? Oh, like peachy plum angels descended from on high. You know how many times Katie saw us Perry's been around here, don't you? And you know what she's never done. Katie, it is time. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, kiddo. It won't make you drunk. It'll just put you in a coma. Beating. I'm that scared of this stuff. Come on, have a go. Enjoy, it's just like paint stripper. I'm getting all hot. There's a bucket here. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it, Katie? Was it nice? It's like fire. <laughs> That's how it's like with me. Did you breathe in? You couldn't breathe in. I can't breathe. And your verdict? I could get used to it. <laughs> Initiation complete and now we're going to carry on drinking for the rest of the night and no more films and I'll speak to you again tomorrow. <laughs>
Tomorrow's vlog is just as exciting. Dave takes us on something called geocaching, so make sure you stay tuned.